Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun little day in the life. As y'all know, Oliver and I have been super sick and we're finally feeling back to ourselves. And so he went to go play with Nana today and I'm actually at Lowe's because I want to decorate the front porch today. It just started pouring down rain outside, so I don't know if I'll be able to, but I want to see if I can find some different lights because we actually picked up those big colorful retro bulbs to do the outside of our house. And then we got home and Will took one look at the roof line and he was like, this is not happening. <laughs> we only have like this little extension ladder and um, he doesn't think it's going to be doable because our roof line is so high and he has a broken toe. So we're not going to risk that. I'm just going to do some white lights in the windows. I saw somebody on TikTok do that and I thought that was really pretty and maybe do some big wreaths on the windows. I also want to see if I can string some garland on our white poles out on the front porch. So hopefully I can find some stuff to make our porch really cute today. I already have the doormat and stuff. And then also I need to go get my nails done because I've been doing them at home with my little gel kit. Um, but they come off like every three days and I have to keep redoing them. And so I kind of just want to go get the dip powder and call it a day for like two weeks and not have to go back. So I'm um, going to get my nails done. I might even get my toes done if I have time. And yeah, we're just going to have a fun little shopping day. Hopefully be able to decorate the front porch later. But if you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you. I make lots of videos about homemaking and cleaning and decorating and mom life. And also if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. But let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I feel like a silly goose because I went in Lowe's with all of that stuff and I actually bought it at Home Depot. So now I'm driving across town and I'm stuck in terrible traffic. So hopefully this goes quick. It's already three o'clock and I told my mom I'd come get Oliver at five. So I need to get this done as quickly as possible. Okay, y'all, I just got home and it's 7 p.m. Um, I picked up a Pokeball for dinner. Will actually went and got Oliver and took him to a Christmas party that he was going to. My nails look so janky still. I didn't have time to get my nails done because it took me all day to find what I needed for the porch and I still didn't even find some of it. So I'm starving. I'm going to eat this real quick and then I'll do a little haul for you. I wanted to stop real quick and thank Ritual for sponsoring today's video. I have been using Ritual for a few months now and I've been really enjoying the results. And they've just launched a new product called Symbiotic Plus and this is a three-in-one prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic supplement. It's designed to support gut, digestive, and immune health. You may know Ritual for their multivitamins and protein, but this new 3-in-1 supplement is science-backed and research-stacked, especially when stacked up against the leading direct-to-consumer and top-selling probiotics on the market. Did you know the top five best-selling gut supplements from the top five brands do not include a postbiotic? That is a huge component that sets Ritual apart from the others. I'm a huge advocate for supporting your gut health, and this is a very good place to start. Transparency is at the core of everything Ritual does, from the way the nutrients are sourced to the environmental impact of the materials used to ship thousands of orders. Ritual boasts clean formulas that are vegan-friendly and formulated without GMOs, major allergens, animal products, or artificial colors. And the best part, it's a subscription delivered straight to your front door. Symbiotic Plus and Ritual are here to celebrate and not hide your insides. There's no more shame in your gut game, and that's why Ritual is offering you all 20% off your first month using my code LaurenY20. That's 20% off during your first month by going to Ritual.com forward slash Lauren Y20 and using code Lauren Y20 at checkout. And thank you so much to Ritual for sponsoring today's video. Okay, I'm gonna try to fit everything that we got in this small frame. I have a lot of big items here, but I did one hit wonder. I got almost everything at Home Depot and then for the front door wreath, we went to TJ Maxx. But I'm excited about what I found. I went ahead and returned all of our colorful lights, which is kind of a bummer. Um, I thought that would be fun for Oliver this year, but we're, we're going to do it next year. We'll have to just prepare ahead of time with a large ladder, and hopefully Will's toe won't be broken, broken next year. So, I picked up this really beautiful tree from Home Depot. It's got this uh, beautiful gray base, and it's four and a half feet, 
and I love the like texture of it. I don't know what kind of tree this is, <laughs> but it's not flocked, obviously. I didn't want anything outside to be flocked because it doesn't show up as well. So everything that we're using outside is just basic, um, except for our front door wreath because that's under a big light. But anyways, I love this tree. It lights up, so you plug it in, and it's beautiful. And I can't decide if I'm going to put Christmas ornaments on it or not. But I'm going to put this in the center of our front porch, probably with some ornaments or ribbon wrapped into it um, to add some pops of red. But I'm super excited about that find. I was either looking for a tree or a big Santa Claus for the center there. And I love that tree. That was the very last one. I picked it up off of the shelf. They had it on display. And I was like, can I please buy this? And they said, yeah. So um, I'm going to do that. I brought these in here from the garage. These are my Martha Stewart red Christmas ornaments from last year from TJ Maxx. And this is what I have left over after decorating. So I think I might use these on this tree if it doesn't look too cheesy. I'll have to figure that out. Um, I'm probably not going to decorate tonight because it is pitch black outside. So I'll get up in the morning and throw on something comfy, grab a cup of coffee, and we'll go out to the front porch and decorate. I feel so bad because it's late now. I still have my fall wreath, my dead mums. It's still fall outside and my neighbors all have their Christmas decor up and I feel like such a loser. <laughs> so I'm excited to get out there tomorrow morning, but it's just, it's too dark right now, I think, to film it. But I picked up this really cute wreath at TJ Maxx for our front door. It's flocked, but the reason I fell in love with it is because it lights up. So I'm super excited to have that on our front door and it'll be all pretty at night. Um, it looks like whoever made this got all of their stuff from Hobby Lobby because I actually had these poked in the top of my tree. But there's some sweater ornaments on there and some red ornaments. It's just really pretty. It's a mixture of a lot of different things. And I thought about putting a red bow on there, but I may just leave it. We'll see. And I'm kind of like trying to figure out what I want to do for my front porch in years in the future because this year I'm kind of building up. I didn't really do much last year. So I think next year I'll do a big garland around the door that lights up. Um, and some garland on our white posts out there. I did not find any garland today for our white posts, and I'm really bummed about that. But all of the garland left, I'm kind of late to the game this year, and all of the garland left was really, like, little. It wasn't full, so I hope to do that next year. I picked up this, and I already showed y'all this in another haul, but this for a doormat is from Target, and it looks so pretty with my doormat, my, like, layering mat from Hobby Lobby. So I'm excited to use that on our front door. Okay, for the exciting stuff, I picked up these really fun snowflakes from Home Depot, and you just poke these in your flower bed. We have that little flower bed in front of our porch, and there's four of them, and so I'm just going to poke those in for a little added light up at night. My foot is in a cramp. Every time I do a haul like this, my foot gets in a cramp. Um, but anyways, I picked up some wreaths, and I was so excited to find these at Hobby Lobby. So these are, let's see, 30 inch wreaths. Okay, my camera just died, but what I was saying is these smaller wreaths we're going to use on the two windows on the front porch because they're a little bit smaller. And then the big window out front by our garage is big, so I got a larger wreath. But these are all the same wreaths, just different sizes. So this 30 inch wreath is beautiful. These light up, and I'm so excited. I don't know if I already said that or not, but I'm so excited about them lighting up. And I'm just going to put these red bows on the bottom of them. Eventually, I want to get some waterproof bows, but for now, I just have these, and I think they're going to be really pretty. I picked up a 36-inch wreath for the large window. If you don't know what the outside of my house, ooh, if you don't know what the outside of my house looks like, it's a, there's a picture on my Instagram. My Instagram handle is at Lauren G Yarbrough. And I have a picture on there from when we first bought our house. But there's a large window, and I think this is going to be so pretty on that one. And it, this one lights up, too. It's the exact same wreath. I think these are so beautiful. And before, when we were shopping for our colorful lights that aren't going to happen, um, I saw the big wreath, and I was like, okay, I love that, but I would need two matching wreaths to go in the other windows. And they didn't have them. But this Home Depot that I went to today did. I already had this reindeer from last year. Y'all know I put this in my bedroom last year. And I just didn't really find a spot for it. So I think I'm going to add this to the front porch. And then tonight, when I was grabbing my pokey hula, I ran by Hobby Lobby. And it's Friday night. And it was packed. There was lines out the doors. I should have known better. But instead, I sat there looking for lights to go in our windows. And I found a pillow that was really cute that said hot chocolate with marshmallows. And I got everything that I really loved in my cart. And then I got to the checkout and I was like... It's so late, I don't want to wait in this line. So, I ended up leaving that stuff. I may go back and get that pillow if I can't find one in my garage to use on the front porch for that little bench. But other than that, 
I have everything I need, I think, to decorate our front porch. So I'm so excited to get out there in the morning, but I think I'm just gonna call it a night. <laughs> Good morning. It's the next day, so we are about to head out on the front porch and decorate. It's Saturday. This was poor planning on my part because now all of my neighbors are gonna be out working in their yard and stuff. <laughs> I should have done it during the week, but no, couldn't have. But we're just going to embrace it. I got to go out there and I need to sweep up the porch. I need to wipe down the front door because I was in a hurry the other day and I spilled coffee on our front door. And just get it all cleaned up and then we'll take all of the decorations out there. Okay, to start out with, I needed to move all of our fall decorations off the porch, so I went ahead and moved those out into the garage or into the dumpster, wherever they belonged, and I'm just taking my pine Mrs. Meyer spray to wipe down our front door. That stuff smells just like Christmas. It made everything out here smell so good, and I'm going to sweep off the porch. This little stain by our front door is definitely going to have to be taken care of in the spring. That's more of a spring cleaning thing for me because it was so cold out here and I was not about to pull out the hose and try to get that stain off. So we're just going to cover it up with this cute rug, this little red layering mat I found at Hobby Lobby, and then this little top mat that says Merry Christmas I found at Target this year. One of my biggest pet peeves with Christmas decor outside is if the lights do not match. So if I have like wreaths on the window and then lights on the house and then a Christmas tree on the porch and the lights are all different tones, like one's warm lighting, one's cool lighting, or there's colored lights mixed in, that drives me bonkers. Y'all have to let me know down in the comments if y'all are like that too. Some people just don't care and they just want lights all over their house and that is so fun, whatever suits you. But for me and my porch, I really wanted everything to be really warm lighting. So I got that wreath from TJ Maxx and I love the lights on it. They match the lights on this tree as well as the lights that are going to be in our wreaths on the windows. How cute is this tree though? I am obsessed. We found that at Home Depot and it kept tipping over so I went ahead and stuck it in the pot that I had my mums in and then I just took some of that pea gravel from the backyard and poured some in there to kind of weigh it down. I'm usually not a huge fan of command hooks. I just feel like they don't work very well. But the three pound command hooks, the big white ones, those never let me down. And that's what we're using to hang up these wreaths with. Dangle them bells and frolic. Oh my gosh, some stolly. Eggnog, gin and tonic make you tide gay and jolly. Same procedure every year. Are you helping mom make a mess over here? All three appears, a toast to him that red nose beer. Jingle them bells and frolic, it's the best day of the year. Come fly with me now, Rudy. I'm loaded. I kept going back and forth on whether or not I wanted to put some Christmas ornaments on this tree or wrap it with some ribbon. 
and I ended up just taking the Christmas ornaments off. I think it looks prettier, just simple, but y'all have to let me know down below, do you think I should keep some ornaments on there or just keep it with just the lights? By the way, I think I forgot to tell y'all this. Um, I found some garland for the front door, so you're gonna see that here in just a second, but we went back later on and found 18 foot strips of pre-lit garland at Home Depot. Y'all, I love Home Depot lately. They have everything I need. And I used to go to Lowe's for everything, but I've started here recently just doing Home Depot because they never let me down. I also found these cute little snowflakes at Home Depot. And when I did my haul for y'all earlier in the video, I said I only got one strand, but we also went back and got two more when we got the garland for the door. And so there's three strips out here. They ended up being connected and really close together. So I had to grab two more to fill up the whole flower bed here. I drink to Santa and his helpers too. Here's to mistletoes and here's to you. Jingle them bells and frolic come. Let's sing and dance and cheer. It's the best. Time. For the snowflakes, I went back in and buried the white cords with some soil, the parts that weren't plugged in. And now we're headed over to the front door to add this garland. This is an 18 foot pre-lit garland from Home Depot. It was $10, which is a steal. And I actually picked up two because I was gonna make it look a little bit more full. But once I got it all fluffed out, it looked beautiful. And I was also gonna add in ribbons and ornaments. But after I got the lights turned out, it looked so pretty and simple just like this. So I just went ahead and left it. And this is the finished product of our porch. You're gonna see some in shots here in just a minute. But I love the way that everything turned out. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish 